McKinnon, Ranton, and McCarr start for the Central. In the predominantly turquoise, a pass in front for Brady Kachuk. Now Barkov and a rip around goal. Excuse me, Matthew, and he's got four now. Used to guys taking aggressive plays from behind. Everybody's looking to thread a beautiful pass and a smart play by Kachuk. You can see the hesitation by Soros. That's typically his best skill moving side to side. I don't think he expected Matthew to come and do the stuff and that hit the crossbar. I thought he had him beat there, but it didn't go. Got Allmark sliding across to his right, put it back up over his glove. Here's Marner sending it in front of Beauty. Marner setting up Nikita Kucherov. And it's 2-0 Atlantic. Well, we saw this last game by the Atlantic. Quick as ever. Back the other way, Mitch Marner sliding it across. And Kucherov up and over to make it 2-0. Rick Marner, excuse me, and a stop there by Saros. Stolen there by Marner again. Larkin's in again. Dylan Larkin scores! And he's having a big all-star game for the Atlantic. It's 3-0. It's a long pass there by Morse. He tries the curl and drag. It gets picked off. And now Mark Larkin just takes a quick look. And that, that, the lateral movement there just, again, like we saw earlier from him, about six feet going across to... Along with Larkin and Kucherov. And here's Mitch Marner. Five assists today. Marner in deep. Flips it back for Larkin. His shot scores. And Dylan Larkin's feeling it. Well, Kevin talked about his love of playing with Mitch Marner. Saucers one right softly into the zone. And where does that go? There's your five hole, Kev. Yeah. Kind of halfway in between was Hellebuck. He wasn't quite down enough. He was still standing. The pads were a little, weren't connected. And, and guys look good on paper maybe sometimes and compliment each other on paper. But you never really know until you get on the ice and you're whipping the puck around. And this is a great opportunity to see, like, do I have chemistry with this guy or not? Here's some chemistry. McKinnon yeah. to Rantanen. Yeah. And the Central's on the board. Yeah, that's happened a few times, hasn't it? Two great players. I mean, Rantanen in his own right is having just another amazing year leading the avalanche but trio of avalanche players would come through well maybe that's a spark that will get a frenetic ending to this championship game so the avalanche get on the board it's 4-1 atlantic kept alive and down for mckinnon in tight mccarr had it knocked away from him and back goes poster and he's got a Clean rip to the net and scores. 5-1 Atlantic, David Pasternak. There by McKinnon, and he just ran out of gas and said, okay, looking behind him, hoping to give it. Now we'll say, oh, did anything happen? This is in all alone, and you just can't give that kind of skill very often, that kind of chance. There's another one that goes five hole. Marching back in. Josh Morrissey breaks up that attack. Here goes the Winnipeg Jet star. Moore is he going to walk in. Robertson scores. And the Central's got another goal. It's 5-2 with a minute 13 to go. Cross crease passes as Morrissey, the backhand saucer. You can see that Vasilevsky came flying across, just got it up and underneath. And for Jason Robertson, you got to think he's going to be here a few more times in his career, don't you? I would think so. Tied for sixth in league scoring, along with Matthew Kachuk. Another chance and another goal for Dylan Larkin, and that's a hat trick tonight for Larkin in the second game. All goal scoring here in Florida, and, and you mentioned it, Kevin. Larkin's had the energy, hasn't he? He's not just playing like it doesn't matter. He, He's had the effort. He's back checked hard. There's a little pretend that you're losing the puck and another one five hole on Hellebuck. This is just one where I don't know. You've been to a couple of these and you just eventually you want to win. Mention how good he is three on three seven goals nine assists in regular play a chance here and a pretty goal that was 
five hole on Vasilevsky for the crafty Clayton Keller. You know, in a, in a game, you don't often make this kind of a play. It looks like a casual one, but he knew exactly what he was doing and pulling it side to side, hoping to open up. And you could see the reaction was late there by Vasilevsky. Wasn't expecting that little. It just looks so casual. You better score, right? <laughs> if you don't, you're in trouble. Oh, we got a oh. penalty. Penalty shot. Penalty shot. With 41.2 <laughs> seconds to go. Oh boy. Get your air time. Oh, I don't it see is. any hands either. Oh. He missed the hand. Well, Darlene should be on his vacation right now, right? Isn't that what we we're saying? So yeah. he deserves a gift. Up against. Oh, he. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even between the legs, it was behind it, right? Is this is a defenseman, guys. Yeah. Like, this is a highly skilled move. And that's where our game's at. Our defensemen are as skilled as anyone these days. Six three and a face off in the central zone. Barkov's got it. Hooks it in front. And oh, he didn't score the penalty oh, shot, boy. but he's got that one. Rasmus Dalin. That look kind of says it all. It's like, oh man, I missed the. There's Barkov, like Kevin was talking about, just so calm with the puck. Waits, waits, pulls it around, and that one short side. Only Eric Carlson with more points from the blue line this year. Spectacular season as he's gotten to another level. Dalene with 14 goals, 55 points. One more chance for Nathan McKinnon to get the central a little closer to the window dressing. And it's 7-4 Atlantic. Very similar, just three strides in the zone, set and fire. Look at the reaction of Vasilevsky. It just beat me a right-handed shot. I've always felt that blocker side above the pad and underneath the blocker is just so hard to defend against the goalie. Fourth in the league in points per game on the season. Getting it a little closer, but the million dollars getting set to be awarded to the Atlantic. One more chance here. And 7.6 to go, and now it's a two-goal game as Kale McCarr looks up at the clock. He looked like he sank a little bit. It looked like there was 14 seconds left in the game, but it's one of those times where Vasilevsky, like any goalie, if, if you don't challenge and you're not out. And this one's going to end 7-5 in the Atlantic Division has won the 2023 All-Star Game.